And good morning and welcome back to News Centre here on KTN News. We're glad you're watching. These are other stories we are following for you at this hour. From the Panafric Hotel, there is the ESCC meeting stakeholders. Uh, currently, well, there's, got a, there's a new speaker that's just taken to the podium. Uh, and we will be giving you more details on that. But on the other split is Safari Park. And that is where a peace meeting, a conference is ongoing that is set to be addressed by... Uh, Interior CS and Kayseri, currently speaking, is a Rwandan High Commissioner to Kenya. Uh, so we're following those stories for you. Also, there is the rally later on today in Kisi. National Super Alliance will be in Kisi County and we'll bring you the details from there as well. And that's a discussion we'll be having right here in studio. So those two events, amongst others, that we're monitoring at this hour, Makna Maswa as well is uh, following a meeting between the Millers and the Ministry of Agriculture officials. After this, uh, Unga prices have come down. Uh, still many questions and allegations that have been raised. So we will uh, follow and bring you details from that meeting as well. So let's take you to Panafric and listen to the speaker there in the EACC meeting stakeholders. And just said all protocols observed. Because initially, you have to introduce almost everybody on the high table to the participants. But they found it was unnecessary. And they came back and said, all protocols observed. I would like to, to say that. In fact, we should not be praying for ESCC. We should be praying for the religious leaderships. A lot of responsibilities have now been placed on the religious leaderships. If we fail, then the religious leaderships are doomed. As religious leaders, we must be very, very careful. The National Anti-Corruption Campaign Steering Committee, where I'm also a member, went into partnership with the, uh, the ISK. And now the ESCC has joined. All these responsibilities are coming to the religious leaderships. And if we fail, both institutions are headed by religious leaders. We have the Vice Chair, Reverend Jesse, heading the National Anti Corruption Campaign Steering Committee. And we have retired Archbishop Wabukala ESCC. This is a heavy responsibility. If we fail in delivering, then the religious leaderships are doomed. We need to be very careful. We have been conscripted into this knowingly or unknowingly. And we need to be very, very careful about the whole process. It's not a joke. And we need to work together and see what is the best way out. Let me read this small speech. My fellow religious leaders, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am deeply honored to welcome you all to this rare yet important gathering of religious leaders and other non-state actors, the ESCC, and the people of goodwill to witness the launch of a partner framework and signing of an MOU between ESCC and the religious institutions in Kenya. Corruption is a costly venture. This is factual to all of us, including those perpetuating the vice. The impact of corruption on fundamental aspects of human development, climate change, unemployment, democracy, and inequity is unimaginable. Closer to us, corruption has a significant bearing to the attainment of Vision 2030 and the actualization of provisions of the Constitution of Kenya 2010, particularly Article 4 on the Bill of Rights. During our last gathering on 1st February 2017, we duly observed that war against corruption requires multifaceted strategies bringing together all players, including government institutions, the private sector, 
non-government institutions, media houses, the religious sector, and most importantly, the general public. It is not lost upon us, as the religious leaders, that the impact of corruption continues to shatter the moral fabric of the nation that it must be fought by all of us at all costs. It is in this regard that we established a technical team to explore possible areas of collaboration with the EESTC on the following pertinent areas. To use the place of worship to condemn corruption and lead the faithful towards discovering God's position and his direction on living a life of integrity. B, rally Kenyans to have peaceful elections and elect leaders with high integrity. And C, change the negative narratives and perceptions surrounding the fight against corruption to ensure each and every Kenyan play their role in the fight against the vice. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to thank the technical team under the Coordination of Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission and the Inter-Religious Council of Kenya for translating our commitment into action for their effort in making this partnership a success. The joint EECC and Faith Institutions Collaboration and Partnership Action Plan and the MOU embody the spirit of our initial engagement. Once again, thank you, all of you. It is in this regard that faith communities in Kenya, operating under the banner of Interreligious Council of Kenya, commit to this partnership, believing that it will serve as a building block for integrity in the society and efforts in the fight against corruption. Moving forward, the faith institutions will continue to work closely with ESCC and other stakeholders in tackling corruption and unethical conduct in Kenya with the view to nurturing a society where all people embrace integrity in their public and private sectors. My brothers and sisters, as I had earlier on said, when we went into this coalition with the ESCC and previously with even the NACs, I was seriously thinking in my mind, what is the best way to fight corruptions? To my opinion, we do not have an answer yet. Whatever we say here or whatever is being done is just a figmentation. We need to have a paradigm shift. The National Anti-Corruption Campaign Steering Committee and the ESCC cannot work in isolation. If we as religious leaders and all major state actors have unanimously agreed to be foot soldiers to this, we need to be sincere and we need to stand up against this. Lina said that exposure is too much. We don't see action. But my understanding of the Constitution, the little, is the ESCC arrest and take the suspects to court. We've been having problems with our courts. If accused persons takes time to be tried or even receive convictions, there will be little ESCC will do. They have taken from this end and taken it to people who dispense thorough justice. We need to integrate, inter interrogate our court systems. Why should a trial take four months, five months, six months? An advocate comes and say, we need to take a death it jumps to one year. And in between, anything happens. We, we have nothing to blame ESCC here. As religious now leaders, we have agreed to be part of this. We need to have a joint thorough meeting with the judicial systems and find out why trials take long in this country. With those few and many remarks, religious leaders, you don't only have to work with ESCC, you also have to work with the National Anti-Corruption Campaign Steering Committee. This is a committee whose responsibility solely is to preach against corruptions, moving from one region to the other. The current chair of ESCC 
was the chair of the National Anti-Corruption Campaign Steering Committee. He knows the game very well. And I would like us to get together, come together, and see how we can fight this monster together. God bless all of you. Thank you so much.